everyone. My name is Vanessa Harris and I'm a junior here at Troy University. And today I'm going to share with you my personal leadership philosophy. And that leadership philosophy is going to include my definition of leadership, my leadership style, my leadership goals, as well as characteristics that I like to possess as a leader and why. So the objective of this briefing is for each listener to be able to develop his or her own personal leadership philosophy as well. So the first thing I did was I developed my own definition of leadership. And I did so by looking at what other great leaders had to say about leadership. And so Troy University defines leadership as the art and science of influencing the positive transformation of people, organizations, and societies. And then Robert Greenleaf says that a good leader must first be a good servant. And then there's Napoleon Bonaparte. He considers a great leader to be a dealer of hope. And Maya Angelou calls a leader as someone who sees greatness in other people. So from their definitions, I came up with my own. And my definition of leadership is, leadership is the willingness to be a catalyst for change through unselfishly serving, inspiring, and encouraging those who we encounter in our everyday lives to hope and dream without limitations. Then the next thing that I did was I decided what characteristics I wanted to see in myself. And that would be integrity, which is honesty and trustworthiness. Then humility, because a humble leader is confident and admits when he or her is wrong. And then passion. A passionate leader is infectious and exciting and breathes boldness and courage to those who are in their midst. And then there's positivity. In my opinion, positivity is a byproduct of integrity. And it conveys a message to all those who are listening, the followers, that I believe in you. And for those who hear these words, it's strengthening and it's encouraging and it empowers them. So the third thing was to define my leadership style. And the leadership style um, that I resonated more with was the Democrat, democratic um, leadership style. And I believe that the average person is capable of working independently and that they have the ability to put into practice the things that they have learned and to Im implement their own ideas in completing tasks and personal development. And I also view myself as an encourager or a mediator. My responsibility would be to influence them, to provide an atmosphere of cohesiveness, trust, and overall support while they are on their own personal journey to success. And then the fourth thing was to lay out personal leadership goals for yourself that you want to work towards. So currently, my leadership goals with Troy University is I'm seeking leadership knowledge um, that can assist me um, with changing me into a more effective follower and with the goal of becoming a more effective leader. And so since learning is change, I guess Troy is my agent of change. But however, after graduation, my goal is to become an agent of change. So the goal that I have set for myself is to become a counselor or a life coach. And so with the right servant leader, you know, we can achieve our greatest expectations with only our natural goods in tow. And that is our desire and ourselves. So I'm really looking forward to that. So today, I have shared with you my leadership philosophy and the steps that I took to develop my own leadership philosophy, as well as the steps that you could take to develop yours. So we discussed developing a definition for leadership, choosing characteristics you'd like to possess as a leader and why, choosing the leadership style you'd like to use while leading, and setting future leadership goals for yourself. So once you have done these things, then you must strive to live out the philosophy in your everyday life and trust that it will become a part of who you are. Thank you for listening. 
And this concludes my briefing on creating a personal leadership philosophy. Philosophy. Thank you.